another thing we might want to do is to solve matrix equations. We can also calculate with matrices like we calculate with normal variables. The only difference is that we can't divide by a matrix. So let's say if we have an equation like that. And we could solve this for x. And well, we get everything on one side and then we divide by minus four. And we would end up with five b e plus a minus two transposed minus four. So the only thing that's really new here is the transposed, which means every column becomes a row and every row becomes a column and a matrix. So for example, if we have a matrix with, let's say, well, this one, two, three, and four would be equal to one, two, three, and four transposed like that. And everything else, the scalar multiplication is we just multiply every number in the matrix with the same scalar and then adding another matrix with the same dimensions is also very easy. We just add one to one, then one to three, then, then three to two, and then four to, uh, four to four, and subtracting works the same way. Let's clear that real quick, and let's write the resulting equation minus four. And let's do this real quick in drop math. What we want to have is a function that calculates x, which would be, let's first of all say that we want x. And of course, we want to um, take in two other matrices. And it produces another map three and what we want to do is to let's have some steps in between which would be our first matrix that call let's call it i would be five times our b matrix then our a can stay the same and lastly we need another matrix which would be two times a transposed as we can see, we also have an underscore option, which would modify the original matrix, but we don't want that in this, in this case. So let's just do it like this. And now all we want to have is I plus A plus J. And the result of that, we want to scale by one divided by minus four. But of course we want to have this as floats. And this should return our correct matrix, like that. And now we need to pass in two matrices A and B. And so let's define two matrices. A would be equal to 2 and 4. And let's do minus 1 and 3. Let's have another matrix, which would be minus 5 and minus one, sorry. And let's do two and six like that. And now we can pass it in and we should get our correct matrix back. All oh, these are matrix twos, of course. Let's, let's just use a matrix two right now. That, 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 and over here. Now it should be fine again. And now we can also output it again. We have this calculation then right here. And this scaling it by one divided by something divides more or less because we are, if we remember, well, let's annotate this. If we remember A divided by X it's the same thing as a times one divided by x. 
as we can see, we can multiply it right here, and we get the same thing we have read right here. Yeah. So now if we test it, as we can see, I did a small mistake right here. And well, if we test it, let's compile it, run it, and then we get the result. Thank you.